Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry with Simpler Trading. And as we get into the free video for today, we're gonna to start off with the spiders. And I show them to you simply because we're at an interesting point heading into Tuesday. Now, you know, from one perspective, this is about as bearish as it could be. And a lot of traders are pointing to this as generally falling apart, and that is a perfectly fine perspective. But all the same, you know, that bearish nature of the market is starting to see the put call ratio become a little more extended, right? We can see the closing value for today above the 1.0. So as everyone looks at it and acknowledges how incredibly bearish it is and begins, you know, starting to establish their bearish positions through the purchase of puts, you know, that's exactly what can put in a tradable low. I'm not telling you a low that's gonna last forever. I'm saying that now everybody's bearish, maybe you could bounce back to the 21 EMA. Now we have to approach this that idea, you know, gingerly because it could just as easily reach further extensions. But anytime I see a major swing low to swing high, right? I'm not bringing it to you with a lot of like a five minute or a one minute chart. This is a significant low against a significant high that has met that extension nearly to the penny. So off of that move, off of the put call, I at least want you to be aware of the potential for a bounce. And then if we do begin to see that, I still like the idea that energy could do well. Now, a smaller representation, right, across the broad index does not weigh as heavily as tech or consumer discretionary, but it is a sector where you're still seeing a swing high and a swing low, and then a higher high, and at least for this moment, a higher low. So I like the idea of XLE eventually moving into 85. You can either play it through the broad sector or you can break it down into its individual components. It'll be a little bit easier to vouch for when it can recover the 21 EMA, but I just wanted to keep that in mind in the scope of the broad market, the potential for a bounce, and uh, you know keeping that on my watch list as we get into the remaining days of the week. So I hope that's helpful. You guys find some useful concepts to tie into your trading. And we'll update these ideas in the next free video. Hey traders, this is Henry with simplertrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.